Tonight in the cafeteria, there is a celebration commemorating the Chinese New Year. Organized by the Honors Chinese students, there's great food, cultural dancing and performances, and other things to help enrich the community in the Chinese culture. Teachers Zia Feng and Zhao Qian Kong, along with the students in the Chinese Honor Society, were responsible for getting the food, organizing the performances, and making sure that the event was as successful as it could be. Actually, the National Chinese Honor Society, all the kids, you know, including the officers and presidents, they all did a wonderful job. Yeah, you know, uh, I, they give ideas and they did so much work, and I'm, I'm really proud of all of them. <laughs> and then a number of Amity students got involved at the event, with some performing martial arts and others playing traditional Chinese music. Uh, yes, I'll be forming uh, the hulu, which is a, a bamboo uh, flute type instrument consisting of a hulu, which is a gourd, and three bamboo pipes coming out of it. All Amity students were encouraged to attend the event, and those that did were certainly impressed, particularly by the martial artists. Trained by Master Jack, these performers were able to execute several advanced techniques, including sword and chain dancing and floor routines, and put on a show for those in attendance. Oh, they're, they're doing amazing out there. All of uh, Master Jack's kids are just killing it. The attendees were able to experience different aspects of Chinese culture firsthand. This proved to be very interesting as attendees found it very enjoyable to learn about the pastimes of different cultures and widen their perspectives of the world as a whole. Many of the students in attendance were involved in Chinese classes and were eager to take their new cultural knowledge back to the classroom in order to participate and enrich their learning experience. Uh, well, I just want to stop by to check out some of uh, the culture and the celebrations that they do over in China just so I can relate more uh, when I bring it back to my Chinese class. This idea of bringing culture back to the classroom was also very important to the Chinese teachers, who feel that it is necessary for the students to experience the culture in order to do well and have the best experience possible in the class. In the past, students were able to see examples of cultural performances online, but the experience of seeing the performances in person adds a different dimension to their learning. Well, we, in the classroom, we always talk about culture and the students know, especially I, te I, te I teach the AP class, you know, you cannot get that far if you don't understand Chinese culture and Xia Lao Shi teaches Chinese one, you know, we try to get them the idea from Chinese one, but this is great for students actually to experience it. 